Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the gun on this new MIG Max I got. Evidently it quit feeding, so we got to figure out what's going on and get it fixed. Let's get to it. Let's talk about one of the most common problems, especially a beginner runs into when using a MIG. Look at that. That is a result of running too hot or, you know, you could also say running too small of a wire. I don't know exactly what's happened here on the cup. Looks like it got welded to something and then broken off several times. I don't know. I wasn't the one that did this. But if we take this off, in fact, this is not supposed to be like this. So this is missing a spring here. Again, don't know what happened. But if you take a look at this, this tip is, I don't know if they're copper or if they're some sort of an alloy, but the idea is they're made of something that the steel shouldn't stick to. Oftentimes when it burns back, it will make a little ball and it'll stick to the end of here, but usually you can grab onto it with a pair of pliers and break it free. This one, you can see it just fully welded the wire right back onto this. And what's happened is this was running at too high of an amperage for the wire size and when somebody let off the trigger this was still hot and it burned back into the cup here so it burned back in and had enough heat that it just welded to this tip so we need to take this tip off and I've already had it apart so the wire is not connected anymore it's on the floor now then this piece here, I don't actually know what this is called, but there's a liner that goes through here, and this holds the liner in place. This comes off. This one, in this case, is actually left-hand thread, so reverse threaded. So, righty-loosey. And this one, because it's missing that spring, I'm going to get another one. Now. I've checked on Harbor Freight's website. I don't see these at all. So I've ordered some from Amazon. We'll take a look and see if they're right. If they're the correct one, I'll put a link down in the description. I do have some of these for the Lincoln, but you can see they've got a male thread here, whereas this one has a female. And the cup, this actually just goes onto like a spring that holds it on with a friction fit, whereas with the Lincoln, this is threaded inside here, so that actually threads on. So they're a little bit different. You want to make sure that whatever gun you're working on, you get the correct pieces for. If you have one of these, I highly recommend at least ordering some of these so that they're in your toolbox. They're not terribly expensive. That way, when it burns up or somebody screws up your welder, you don't have to wait a few days for the parts to come in. We'll take a look when the parts come in tomorrow, make sure everything fits, and get it all back together. In the meantime, let's take a look down inside the welder and see what we've got going on. Alright, the first thing that is somewhat obvious is the wire's just hanging out here. Now it's got a big old kink in the end of it. That definitely can't be good. And there's the wire right there. So I'm going to grab onto it, see if we can pull it back out. I'm going to get the drive wheel out of our way. Here is an inlet piece. I don't honestly know what it's called, but basically the wire feeds into that, into the inner jacket inside. And you can see has a nice spool there. So what probably happened is it got welded up at the tip and then the drive wheel just kept trying to push wire up in there and it looped up like that. And then, of course, when you pull it, try to pull it from the other end, it's trying to pull this loop all the way through the gun. And that is not going to work. So 
So now I cut that end off to get that kink out of there and we'll feed it back through. Put the drive wheel back on its 023 wire. Now we can use this cold feed to push it out. Fire this thing up. I suppose it will help if it's plugged in. Alright, let's try that again. And we'll cold feed it here. So it feeds fine. I ordered these off of Amazon. So here's the old one here. This is a new one. You can see they're shaped a little bit different, but they are about the same length, and importantly, it looks like the thread here is the same. So that should work out. It was Four of these, I guess, tip holders, and then two cups. While I was at it, I bought a bunch of nozzles as well, so a bunch of these 035 tips. The whole reason that this happened was because the heat was set too high because somebody was trying to weld something way too thick for an 023 wire. So I got some 035 or one millimeter tips and 10 pounds of 035 wire. So I'm going to put this wire in. I'll take that 23 out and set it to the side for when I'm doing sheet metal. Put in one of these, put in one of these new tips. And we'll get it back together and make sure everything works. We have to flip this drive wheel around, I think. So it was at 025, we'll flip it over to the 030, 035. Take this holder and put it in here. Again, it's reverse threaded. Cold feed it. Put on a new tip. Then the new cup. All right, now we just need to test it, make sure it works. As a test, I'll just run a bead down here in the angle of this quarter inch angle iron. I'm not even going to bother taking the mill scale off. I just want to see if it feeds and does what it's supposed to do. Does what it's supposed to do. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.